almost done. Last but not least, this one. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, you scared me. Oh, what are you doing, little one? You can't sleep? <laughs> no, but it's Christmas in the morning. You should be asleep before Santa comes. <laughs> oh, are you yawning, cutie pie? am I going to do with you? Hmm. What am I doing? I'm one of Santa's elves. I lay out all the little presents for the good boys and girls. Santa then brings you the really big ones. <laughs> Shall we get you to bed, little one? Come on, take my hand and we'll go upstairs together. It's very late at night. It's important to get plenty of rest. When you sleep, you get to have such beautiful, vivid dreams. What do you dream of, little one? Mm -hmm. Being a superhero. <laughs> oh, you don't have to dream to be a superhero. Come on, get into bed and I'll tuck you in. We need to be nice quiet, don't we? Your parents must be tired as well. <laughs> it's funny how parents always seem so stressed around Christmas time. Adults are silly, aren't they? <laughs> mm -hmm. What did I mean about the superheroes? <laughs> oh, well, in your books and your movies, like this one here, Captain America. Why is he a hero? Because he's brave? Can you think of when you were brave, little one? <laughs> no. I would say you were very brave coming down those stairs in the dark. Or when you go to school every day. Or what about when you got your shot? That makes you very brave in my book. So, that would make you a hero, like Captain America. You said it yourself. <laughs> he's a hero because he's brave. <laughs> oh no, I think you'll need to help me again. I can't seem to remember the name of this superhero here. Oh, Iron Man? <laughs> and what does he do, little one? Oh? Where did you learn those words? I'm so impressed. So, he's a genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. Those are some very big words. You should feel very happy with yourself that you learned them. I'm sure the other boys and girls your age wouldn't know what they meant. <laughs> Have you always liked your superheroes? I never did ask what you wanted for Christmas. Mm hmm? To be read to. And why is that, little one? Hmm. Your parents are very busy, aren't they? They run out of time. Time is such a fun thing to play with, but if you mismanage it, it can be dangerous. People don't understand where it goes. You blink and whoosh, it's gone. <laughs> Will I make you a deal? I still have lots of other boys and girls to visit and give them their gifts. I have responsibilities. Just like your superheroes, sometimes it doesn't make sense when adults don't do what you want. I know, little one. You feeling nice and sleepy, though? I'll come back and read to you, okay? Oh, a pinky promise. Do you know, if I break this promise, you get to cut my pinky off. <gasps> Could you imagine? <laughs> there, there, cutie. You're falling asleep. Time to sleep. And when you wake up, you'll have lots of nice 
few goodies to open and play with. Sleep well, little one. The lady is gone, but in your excitement, you put on your nightlight and wait, cuddling your plushie for the nice elf lady to return to read you the story. It feels like you've been waiting for ages. Where is she? She promised. Did she forget about me? <laughs> Good morning, or happy 2am, little one. <laughs> Me, oh my, has time really skipped by so quick? Look at you. You're breathtaking. Oh, you're all big and strong now. What on earth has happened to you? Oh, you don't remember me. Hmm, you were very young, so don't worry about it. Maybe this will jog your memory. <laughs> it's a little early, but I have some free time and a pinky to keep. Go on, open it. <laughs> it's a book. You're giving me a very funny look. Are you recognizing me now? I'm the nice elf lady for many, many moons ago. I left with a promise and a forfeit if I never met it. The promise is I would come back and read to my little one because his parents were very busy. <laughs> well, what do you say? Will you let me read you a story and keep my pinky? <laughs> I promise you, you aren't dreaming, although you might be after this little story. Ready for bed, then? I hope you brushed your teeth now. Come on, let me get y'all tucked in, and I'll sit right next to you. Sorry I was late. I have responsibilities to attend to. Seems like you're all grown up well, though. <laughs> I knew I could trust you on your own. <laughs> and I remember petting your hair. But it's much longer now compared to before. Anyway, this book was written by someone called The Elf Lady. <laughs> <sighs> Once upon a time, there was an elf. This elf was a very busy girl. She would prepare all year round, and then on Christmas Eve, she would have the opportunity to visit all the boys and girls. She was able to give them little presents and knickknacks. This helped Father Christmas out a lot, as when it was his time to deliver presents, he could make sure all the big bulky ones got to the boys and girls who were nice that year. Elf had done this for many years, keeping the boys and girls content and rewarding them for their good behavior. Until one night, a little boy woke up. He couldn't sleep, and he heard some noises coming from downstairs. Curiosity got the better of him, and step by step, he slinked downstairs and accidentally frightened the elf. Although startled, she knew the best course of action was to send this little one off to bed. As she tucked him in, he revealed something a little unsettling, that his only wish was to be read to. You see, his parents were very busy. They worked hard and were very tired. The little boy couldn't understand why his parents didn't have time for him. It's not that they were cruel or mean. It's because they lost sight of what was important in those moments. Of course, he had been read to before. His teacher did it at school. 
his grandparents whenever he got to visit them, but he saw it in the movies, when the parents would tuck the child into bed and read them a little story. He couldn't help but yearn for it. This saddened the elf lady that lay by his bed as he explained what he wanted. She was torn. She had so many responsibilities, but all she wanted to do was grant this little one his one wish. So a deal was struck. If the promise was to ever be broken, she would forfeit the little finger upon her right hand. She left, knowing one day she would keep her promise. <laughs> well, do you forgive me? I know it's certainly been a while. Look how grown up you are. You're like a fully functioning adult now. Hope you've been looking after yourself, though, <laughs> and had a good year. You don't talk much, you know. You get quiet because of high school. <laughs> I see it happen to a lot of the children I bring presents to. College is good, though. I won't say it will necessarily get you out of your shell, but if you keep pushing forward, it helps you learn resilience, at least. <laughs> I know college is not fun and brings a lot of stress, especially with time management and other factors on your mind. It's normal and okay to be stressed. It's not normal or okay to limit yourself and not have fun though. Always remember, it's your life. That's the bottom line. <laughs> if I can grant you a restful night though, then I think my job is most certainly done and my pinky promise has been fulfilled. What do you say? <laughs> Well, in that case, why not I send you off to sleep? I can pet your hair and face a little bit and ramble you off to sleep. It's a peaceful night. I love when the moon shines down and lights up the surroundings. Moon kiss, I think is how I would describe it. But I must admit, Having my window slightly ajar and listening to the pitter-patter of gentle rain as it comes down from the heavens. <laughs> Knowing I'm all tucked up in bed, wrapped up in a big warm cover, making me feel safe and secure. <sighs> That's what it's all about sometimes. I don't need new things or experiences that happen once in a lifetime to enjoy myself. It really is the little, intimate moments I get to have with myself. <laughs> you know, when it first snows, and you get to take your first step into it, the crunch noise made, that is quite satisfying. <laughs> or a brisk walk and fall, the leaves crunching under your feet. I wonder why that is so amusing. <laughs> or thumping your feet under floorboards. Hmm, maybe it's just because we know we have an effect on the world. No matter how small or insignificant that effect may be. <laughs> Life can be tough. No one said it was easy. Doesn't mean you're not allowed to struggle a little, though. If you keep pushing, they say. But I would argue it's more just trying to keep up with the momentum. <laughs> like if you were swimming at the beach. If you go out far enough, you might get pushed around by the waves. As soon as you encounter resistance, you don't just stop swimming, do ya? <laughs> no. You just keep going. I could
couldn't tell you how many times I thought I was faced with an impossible task or objective, but really, all that was holding me back was myself. Just gotta get started. Stick my toe into the sea, then my foot, and before I know it, I'm doing doggy paddle in the water. <laughs> nah, I doubt I'm making much sense. Sometimes it's easier to keep it to myself. I know what I mean, you know what you mean, so maybe that's what matters. Figuring it out for yourself first. <laughs> You are the most important person in the world, because <laughs> without you, then who are you? Truly. Rest well, little one. That book is your present for behaving this year. Be good. I'm always watching. <laughs>